So I wanted to show you a quick before and after of the driver swing implementing the same exact mechanics where we had an even bigger reverse pivot. And as you can see here, we're exaggerating the spine angle just a little bit, but man, it is just night and day different when we look at the down swings coming down into impact, beautiful stable club face on the, on the right in the after swing. And then we can see the flip with the driver on the before swing. So beautiful night and day difference. So a very good line that you can draw on your own swing is one right off the back leg to start checking to see if you have hip sway. So we're gonna do this right off of our student swing here, and we're gonna go all the way to the top of the swing. And we're gonna very clearly see a huge hip sway where we have almost half of our leg through that line. So once we got that back leg stable, as you can see here in the after swing where that leg is not breaking that line, my student here had the ability to maintain his spine angle. And you can see a complete 180 difference where the spine angle is tilted away from the target versus towards the target. Now I wanna go over the exact drill that me and my student went over to start stabilizing that back leg. We're gonna put an alignment stick or a chair, something that we can set up right up against our back leg. We can even take the stick out of the ground, set up to our ball, get a good spine angle, and then go ahead and set the stick down in there. Great way to make sure that that's in a, in a good spot. And we want this at a little bit of an angle because we want this almost touching our mid thigh height level. So not, not down here by our knee. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to do some backswing training only. What, with, while maintaining our spine angle, we're going to turn up to the top of our swing, nice big full turn, without letting our leg bump this, just like we saw my student do, where he was bumping and getting the, the, the spine to tilt towards the target versus keeping this leg nice and stable all the way to the top. And this is very this simple, guys. This is one of the reasons I love this drill so much is because it's just training. There's no trick to this. It's just very hardcore, nice fundamental mechanics that keep you in a very nice spot and keep that back leg stable. So what we do is we get some backswing training in, making sure I have a spine angle and a stable back leg. Then we use that same feel when we take the object out of the way, the chair, the stick, whatever we're using to make some nice, easy swings. And what I want you to imagine here is I want you to put a fence around the outside of your leg and the inside of your leg and say, hey, my leg can rotate in this fence as much as it wants, but we don't want it to change locations. We want it to stay right where it's at. Now, a little key extra note here is it can actually go inside that fence just a little bit, but we never want it to break that fence. Okay, so we're gonna keep that leg nice and stable. We're gonna use that same feel from the drill and we're gonna make some nice easy swings, really feeling that back leg stay nice and stable.